Good day, it's been, uh, isn't it? Yeah, let me introduce myself. Uh, myself, Ranjit, and representing uh, Bitchit Media. And now I'm going to share you uh, our latest trends and uh, the basics related to C programming. Before that, let me introduce some certain steps on programming. What is the programming? Programming is a set of instructions which is going to f be feeded inside a computer through some sort of chips or uh, some sort of devices, as external or internal, to perform uh, expected tasks. That's what a programming is called. So, what about uh, the C programming? C programming is a special kind of programming which uses some sort of uh, protocols some sort of definitions to d to write a code and to get an output so let me start out uh, the C++ before that uh, you can get the C++ compiler from brothersoft.com and or through googling it as Boland C++ IDE this is the compiler I'm going to use so just uh, I have uh, already downloaded the C++ compiler and I have pasted in here as a C uh, as TC folder here uh, the TC.exe is the magic for our uh, programming expectations so let us start the programming so this is the C++ compiler called Turbo C++ ID I am going to use so this is these are the start menus file edit search and so on so and I, I will explain in the later tutorials about the menus oriented uh, here so first one is the uh, file and I press new here and uh, I'm going to write the first sample code for the tutorial so ash include stdio.h don't worry I explain each and every line she include conio.h white main right white main happens sometimes and uh, hello at ch so we have uh, write a sample code for uh, this C++ program. S now I'm going to save this program as hello world dot C. Now I have successfully saved this source code. Now just now I'm going to compile my program just press the compile button here as I did now we have found the warnings and error messages and uh, it shows as zero so we have uh, successfully wrote the code without errors and warnings I'll explain warning and error in the later tutorial and uh, here now we are going to run the program run so we are getting hello world printed in the text format to an output format so this is the hello world program and what it actually happens here is what is this this is stdio.h so also a conio.h these are called a set of files which uh, helps which helps these are uh, header files called uh, so let us come to the step by step explanation so this is the head of files ash include stdio.h conio.h stdio.h which means standard input and output conio.h which means common input and output so what is this head of files does head of files are the files which are pre existing files which uh, guides the codes that you are going to that we are going to write 
in a proper format to run the program successfully. In simple word, <coughs> header files helps in running your program. Header files is a set of a separate program which just uh, uh, survives here as a hyperlink. So this is what uh, this hello world program is about. And what is uh, this void main? This is called as a function. It's a main function. This is uh, this is like a head, similar to header files. Uh, this function main function acts as a head to all sub functions we are going to use. What we are going to functions and uh, all these stuffs we discuss later. And uh, the purpose of the function is, in general, we if a problem is given the role of the C program is is to split the program into smaller tasks or functions so you can get a new idea that what you're going to do is we going to execute all the simple or smaller tasks as functions so this is the main function which is going to collect all the functions that we are going to use so this is called as the uh, this is all about this hello world program so and uh, what is this printf? printf is a prototype which helps in printing the text or numbers that we are going within this quotes sorry within this quotes so this is called uh, the printf functions and uh, for each and every end of a statement these are the statements this is a printing statement we have, have to use the semicolon which says that which, which gives the message to the compiler that the statement has been ended so this semicolon acts as a terminator for uh, for a statement present in a line or uh, multiple lines or in multiple lines and uh, in the next one is get ch get ch so what uh, someone can ask a question that what the get ch actually does here the get ch program sorry get ch is a built in function which if you remove this function what happens I'm going to run the program. Run Control F9. What happens? The output window is not appearing to me. So, to view the window, I have to press uh, Alt F5. Alt F5. So, I'm getting this hello world. So, what is actually it is? Here is this get ch function helps in viewing the output that is it makes uh, the viewability to the user after compiling the code this is the process of the hello world program and the get stage functions so let me look around now I'm again running the program sorry in running the program so you can you might see this hello world hello world hello world. what happens this C is like uh, it's like a the code we are written is like writing uh, some words or text in a paper that is once we run a command or a program the text is being printed so after you run the same program the same word is being printed that is we are appending the text one by one so this what happens successfully hello world hello world so you can see this hello world hello world hello world about six or uh, six plus hello worlds are here so to eliminate it if you need only slash n hello world if we run multiple times this hello world program so I'm using slash n which is known as escape sequence or a new line which helps in this hello world to print in a new line every time so you can see this difference here hello world so if we need only one hello world to be printed I'm using uh, this function called a clear screen this is also a built-in function which helps in uh, clearing the sc screen uh, that we have printed already in the output window so th the important thing is the clear screen should have should to be 
typed only before the printf statement so I'm compiling the code I'm getting no errors so what happens I'm getting a what you see is I'm getting a new hello world with the fresh text so have a doubt again I'm uh, running this program I'm getting the same hello world there is no uh, iterations or uh, sorry uh, there is no repetitions so thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and thank you all vanakkam vandanam nandri namaskar shukriya